Hi, everyone. I am Nutrix, and today we're talking about making a song with Zen Beats, well, inside Zen Beats, using the plugin workstation from UVI. More specifically, the bank that I'm using today is the bank from Kawaii Vintage Legacy. So, why? Well, there's a little thing inside the Kawaii Vintage Legacy, or in most of the UVI banks, you can actually export the phraser or the arpeggiator. You can actually record it as it plays your song and export it as a MIDI and then populate your song with that. So I'm going to show you how I approach this and how it can bring me into having more ideas uh, that I, I'm just like discovering as I play around with the plugin. So let's actually dive in. By default, what I do is I load a a song, I type in the notes that I want. So I actually, I've got the bunch of notes that I wanted to play. I recorded them. Okay, it's very simple. It's just one riff and everything in it is mostly that one riff. So I'm starting with just, I add that one riff that I like and I'm gonna work with it. I load a workstation from UVI and I have in it a bank where I've got the drums, I've got the four different instruments playing it. And if I solo them, when I play it, I'm gonna just gonna play this one. Look at the drum playing here. Got the bass. Which is basically almost the same, but a little bit higher. We have this percussive sound. Goes well with the drum. And I've got this thing. Okay. And the whole thing is this. So what's interesting is if I go into D, for example, when I just want to have this thing, go edit on the ARP. I can say I want to record this the ARP. Go record, ready. It waits until it gets to the beginning of the loop. You see, ready here. And bang, now it's all recording. It records the performance. And let it do the whole thing until it gets to the end. I stop it, and I can MIDI drag this here. So I've got, let's close this. Now I have this MIDI sequence here. That's if I put it here. So that's exactly what it was playing from the Fraser. I'm going to have to open it because there's kind of a, a weird, I don't know what, there's a space here and space here. So I'm just going to basically going to take this and I'm going to limit it to say I want to play this one and this one and this one until this one. So when I play, it's going to play these two here. I want this to be up to eight. So I'm going to... Now this with everything else start to have something like a song. Okay, so I have this one here. If I turn up this one. That's the logic behind this. Now, if I go back to this one, I'm going to still use this, but I'm going to mute some of it. I'm going to mute this one. So if I play this, like if I start, let's say I'm going to start this. And I'm going to stop it and I'm just move it here. Okay, let's go with the first one here. I've got this. So I did the same thing with the bass line. The bass line that is this one here. I recorded this, dragged it here. So now instead of having the bass that I have here, I have the bass. I have a separate bass. And I did the same thing with the percussion. Percussion. So I've got this also. Start to build my song. 
and this one here. I've got the whole thing coming in without the bass because I already have a bass playing here. And then I chose another one, same riff with a different preset. So this one is same notes playing. You hear them in the back playing the same thing. But now I have a new drum, a new bass. And that's because of the phraser that you have here. This one, I can keep it. It's just like coming in slowly. And this one is what? Pads. Okay, let's bring them in. And this one is what? A little bit more volume. Okay. But to keep the link with the one before, I keep the drum. I keep the whole thing again. So. I finished the one section before with this. And transition goes into having the two overlapping. Good. Then I switch to getting rid of the first rhythm. So now I have the new one here. Plus I've got this new one that is and this one came from, and that's a cool one. This. It came from this one. So this one here, it's another cool workstation preset. Okay, so you've got the drum, you've got A, you've got B, C, and D. And I think it's, uh, this one here. That's the sound. So again, I went into the edit, I recorded the Fraser and the Fraser, I copied it here as an alone. And then I took the same bass boss, boss bass preset. And I had a separate track just with uh, and it's just like I never it's kind of an open this up how to use this because that sound the bass boss or the boss bass doesn't sound like that by default there has been has been tweaked in the preset for the multi section so I, it's kind of finding a new sound a new version of the same preset so I was oh this is really the sound that I like I tweaked it a little bit and now I have this thing. I find it it's a pretty cool. And then switch to because in this one you have it here. You have everybody in it. Maybe. Drop again one of the layers. I'm a slow one. And then you start something else. That's same logic again. It's another loop. And we kind of loop back to what we had before. I'm just doing this to show you how easy and fun it is using UVI multi kit where you have these ideas of music that's kind of are there and you can explode them outside of the plugin and just double stuff with, you know, there's no reason for me to use workstation for the other. Also, I could actually send it to one of the hardware synthesizer and just have the sound explode into much more. But it comes from ideas that have been sparked by playing my notes into their um, 
Fraser inside the multi. And I, I went, oh, this is a cool thing. And it doesn't have to stay in it. I just kind of copy stuff out and organize it and, and orchestrate it a way that I find that makes it a whole song. So I put more time into it, thinking about it and listen to the song and live it, you know, let it happen into a longer song. But it's a pretty cool way to start a song. So that was kind of what I wanted to show you today. This kind of under the hood feature of the UVI multi kits. And you have that in mostly all of the UVI banks of sound that have kits or drums sequence in it. You can do that. This is really, really cool. That's it. Stay safe, make new music, and see you soon. Cheers.